welcome back to my channel and this time I'm going to tell you how to use simple present in your dialogue or in your explanation or description um, I don't make these slides I took it from a source and you can see the uh, web of the source in the description yes, so you can just uh, click the web and you'll find the PowerPoint of the source and I think this is uh, the best source that I have ever found in the site so I recommend you to use this uh, first thing first is that uh, the form and basic meaning of the simple present tense okay so here you see the words she walks okay she walks so because the name is simple um, so it is only the, the sentence mostly only consists of subject and then directly followed by verbs like here she walks okay and then uh, here is the form the form for the first person the first person like I singular and for the plural or in Indonesia we call that jama or more than one we I and we we use the verb one like this clean without any additional like ing or ed or others so I walked we walked for the first person and then for the second person for singular we use you and then for plural we use you also in, in, in Bahasa Indonesia here is you kamu and here in a plural or in Bahasa Indonesia it is Jama, you means kalian. So uh, you walk, you walk, and you walk the same. And then for the third person, for the singular, she walked. Pay attention to the additional s here, and also he walks it walks okay it is for a thing like animal or stuff and then for plural we have uh, they here they for the third person and plural they walk okay now um, still about the form and the basic meaning we have I eat lunch every afternoon uh, simple present tense usually um, have um, like the time the effort of time like every afternoon or Mondays Tuesday and others and here we have another example we have Mac drive to work every day. Now pay attention that every day is separated like this. And then we get up every morning. And then Kyle calls Mimi every weekend. Kyle calls Mimi every weekend. Look, every weekend here, Saturday and Sunday. So every weekend, Kyle calls Mimi. And then, uh, Simple present tense is usually used to express habits or in Bahasa Indonesia uh, kebiasaan or usual activities activities that you normally do or don't and then here we have an exercise a simple exercise it is watch or watches choose it is watch or watches for this sentence we blah 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 television every day right it's watch good 
Now let's go to another exercise. This one is that uh, he blah 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 television every day. It is watch or watches. Good. It's watches. Here is another one. Oh, what about this one? Eat or it? Correct. It is it. Yeah. Oh, the name of the girl is Jara or Hara. It, it is take or takes. She, right? Correct. It is takes. And then another one is that my friend. Don't be tricked with the word my here. So my friend, okay? So it, it must be she or he, right? So it is right or right? Correct, it is right. They always drink tea with lunch. They always drink tea with lunch. So uh, pay attention to the word always here. Uh, we call it frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency and uh, pay attention also to the location of this special adverb okay now this is the the, the, the percentage of the, the thing done okay see always almost a hundred percent usually about 90 to 90, 99 percent so almost always but it's not always so this we call that usually Okay. Okay, here is a short cut of the use of the frequency adverbs. Always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, rarely, and never. Now let's go to another um, exercise for the use of the frequency adverbs here. If it is done every day, then Talia. Correct. Always. Good job. If Hara only does once a week. So, which one? Excellent. It is seldom. Well, actually it can be between seldom and rarely okay okay and then if Luke does or oh, if Luke cooks dinner six times a week correct it's usually right now what about this one good job it is sometimes because only about four times a week now uh, we can also use another expressions to tell the frequency that is for example here once a week okay if somebody goes to the library only on Saturday so we call that once a week once a week okay if it is on Tuesday and Saturday, it's going to be twice a week. If it is done from uh, almost every day except Sunday and Friday, we call that five times a week. For example here, I go to school five times a week. I go to the movies twice a month. I go to the beach once a year. Okay, so you can ask your friends how many times. A day, a week, a month, or a year. I feed my dog every morning. I ride my horse every week. I wash my car every year. Okay, take a look here. Uh, every week, is it correct or incorrect? Right, it is incorrect. Why? Because every is singular. So, here, okay? Now, 
Uh, here is an example. How often do you drink coffee? Every morning. Again, how often do you drink coffee? Every morning. So, you blah 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 drink coffee? Yes. If it is every morning, then it is. Good job. It is always. May doesn't drink coffee. I know. She blah blah blah, blah drinks coffee. If it is, the clue is that doesn't drink. Doesn't. Right. So it is never. Now, another one. Does doctor about take a walk every day? No, he walks five or six days a week. No, he walks five or six days a week. Okay. Five or six days time uh, sorry. Five or six times a week? Yes, he blah 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 takes a walk. Five or six out of seven. Correct. It is often. This one now. Okay, using frequency adverbs with B. Jeff is always dirty. Okay, uh, now we are going to use B, not the verb any longer. Jeff is always dirty. Jeff, B, always dirty. Okay. Alright, so you put the B before the frequency adverb. Uh, compared with this, um, Sergio always rides a bike. Okay. So um, uh, the frequency adverb is put between the subject and the verbs. Now take a look at this one. He is tired. Where should you put usually here? Correct. is usually tired Jeff is sad where did you put where where will you put never Jeff is never sad right what about this one good job what about this one good it rarely rains in the desert Gerardo teaches math. Now, we're going to learn uh, how to put the S or ES. Uh, take a look. Gerardo teaches math. Okay, for the verb with the ending SH, like push, you add pushes. And this is how you pronounce it. And then for CH, uh, the verb with the ending C is like in teach, teaches, okay? And then kiss, uh, double S, kisses. Well, uh, sorry, uh, the verb with the ending, the ending is X, like fix, fixes. Well, this is the ending, okay? You have to add ES. You say, is, fixes, kisses, teaches. And then, uh, let's try. So, never, yes, the end, uh, double S, so we have to add misses. So, never misses his TV program. Right. Gerardo teaches math. What about this one? Good. Victor always washes his car. Good. What about this one? I didn't usually mix this. Sugar in his coffee. Good job. Now, pay attention to uh, the verb with the that end in Y. Like here, the baby cries a lot. This is a from cry, C -R -C -R -Y, right? 
cry and it begins cries fly be becomes flies uh, if the verb uh, and with the consonant y and change the y to i and then you add es what about this one pay should we also change the y into i now so just add s here enjoy become enjoys why because um, for why look this before why this is our okay before and compared with this one before why this is the consonant okay now you got the point right let's continue uh, try to answer uh, try to fulfill the gap uh, using the words in the box so gazi good job oven buys good she right always says nice things what was it what about this one be careful with the uh, the ending why here yes her father often worries about her her father often worries about her look it is some change here the man has brown has a brown coat uh, we have uh, irregular singular verbs has does and goes okay instead of has um, they will become has the man has a brown coat I have a hat she has a cat not she has but she has okay or she he and it used has now we continue I do exercises yes exercises look she it use has okay we go to the gym he goes to the gym she he it use goes instead of go or goes with g o s a g o e s okay look here uh, the, the explanation or what is it the okay, now we go to another one okay you have to choose good it's does what about this one goes right what about this one yes has good now um let's check it out she runs six miles every day she runs six miles every day now we have the additional s here because the subject is she okay compared with this one sings meets fights cuffs what about this one push pushes okay okay so which is mrs texas okay dry becoming twice study becoming studies Okay, so you have to change Y to I and add ESY because before the Y that is consonant here. Remember that. This one, we don't uh, change Y into I because before Y is a vowel. Okay. 
it is actually the um, uh, what is it the, um, the conclusion of what we have discussed before okay this one mark good pussies the child brazi is very good okay what about this one brenda oven dreams good they do not okay they do not wash their car we, we are going to discuss do not which indicates negative yeah they do not wash their car i do not drink milk we do not drink milk you do not drink milk they do not drink milk Okay, so for subject I, we, you, they, you use do and you just add not. And then the verb. What about this one? Okay, does not. So for the subject she, you use does. He. It. Okay, like this. I do not drink milk. She does not drink milk. Doing does are called helping verbs. Okay, is it correct or incorrect? She does not drink milk. Incorrect, yes. So we have to eliminate s here, okay? So without s, because there is already does here. Okay, no s. Okay, I don't drink milk, they don't go to the lake. Don't is the construction of to not. Yeah, don't is the construction of to not. While doesn't is the construction of does not. This child, look, look at the face of the child. Yeah, this child doesn't smile so you have to use the construction okay we don't like snakes we do not like snake but when you use the construction we use we don't like snakes and then we have oh let's see Magda doesn't speak Dutch. Magda doesn't speak Dutch. Sometimes, blah 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 blah, my cat. So you have to choose this one, one of them, and then it's also you have to choose one of them, okay? Good job! Sometimes I don't feed my cat. Yes. If you don't feed your cat, then who feeds it? Oh! My husband. Okay, my husband feeds her. She? Yeah. Doesn't run fast at the gym. She gets tired. Okay, they are good cooks. They, because they are good cooks, so they don't. Very good need help because they are good cooks, right? Does he exercise? Okay, pay attention to the yes no question here. Do I like salad? Okay, so the sim sim is uh, very simple. You just put the helping verb here, do or does, and then subject and the main verb, okay? Uh, okay, like this. Okay, yes, now for she, he, and he, it, remember that you are going to use does here. Okay, now I use student, it, it is a yes no question using be, are you, not do you be a student, okay. 
because main verb here is a form of be okay do you like ice cream what is the short answer of you like ice cream yes I do if you like it no I don't if you don't like ice cream does Max like ice cream if Max like ice cream you will say uh, you will say yes he does good if he doesn't like it no he doesn't okay take a look of this uh, picture so the long answer will be I like to ride horses so it's going to be because uh, the answer is I so um, for the question must be you right if it is you you use do or does do correct do you like to ride horses if you answer in short answer you will use yes I do like this okay now they have a baby because the subject is they so the question is going to be uh, do or does good it is do do they have a baby what about this short answer right yes they do now this one uh, Gerardo teaches math Gerardo is he right so do or does good job does does Gerardo teach math remember to eliminate es here okay this one okay and this short short answer will be yes he does like this now cows don't bark of course cows don't bark are they right so it's going to or does good do do cows bark no they don't <laughs> for information okay now here is the example where do they live where do they live uh, for yes no question we just use do they live in Baltimore for example now here do they live in Baltimore the short answer of these questions will be yes they do or no they don't now where do they live it's different right so it needs a description or a short description like in Baltimore okay now does Alexi live in Moscow yes he does or no he doesn't what about if we use where here where does he live or where does Alexi live and the answer will be in Cape Town okay so here's the form either we use do or does or with where so where plus do or does and then subject of course and then the last one is the main verb so yeah it's going to be like this do they live in Baltimore where do they live does Alexi live in Moscow where does he live like that okay now yes he does okay so yeah, because this is a yes no questions so we just put does at the beginning of the questions right like this does the child have a toothbrush does the child have a toothbrush yes he does in the bathroom so if you want to ask a specific place or location you will use where where does he brush his teeth where does he brush his teeth in the bathroom again this is a questions with yes no answer so we are going to use this at the beginning of the questions does Lucy like to read at the library she does if it is a long answer yes 
Lucy likes to read at the library. Now we are going to use when and what time to ask for information. When do you go shopping or what time do you go shopping? Yeah? When do you go to work? When do you go to work? At 8 o'clock. What time do you go to work? At 8 o'clock. So you want to ask about uh, a time, you can use when or what time. Okay. When does he exercise? At 10 o'clock. What time does he exercise? At 10 o'clock. What time do you usually go to school? Uh, sorry, what time do you usually go to class? If you, if you want to put the uh, adverb of frequency, you, the location is that subject and then the, the adverb and then the verb. So between the subject and the verb, okay? Okay, the pool closes at 6 p.m. So when or what time, okay? You can use either when or what time, like that, okay? When or what time do you eat lunch? I eat lunch at 12. I usually go to bed at 11. So the questions will be what time or when, okay? When or what time do you usually go to bed? Where is Botswana? So we are going to use be or do here. So uh, where is Botswana? So the long answer, Botswana is in Africa or in Africa if it is the short answer or it is in Africa. Where are your gloves? They are at home. They here uh, represents the your clothes. When is lunch? Lunch is at noon. What time is? Uh, sorry. What is your name? My name is Uma. What time is the movie? The movie is at five. So now you can compare between when and what time. But when you can um, answer time of the day like noon, morning or night but when somebody asks you what time you can tell the exact time okay now where does she live she lives in Belgium what time does school start it starts at 9 a.m. what does she play she plays tennis when do you study? I study at night. So you can use many or other questions words like where, what time, and what and when. Okay. Now let's do some exercise. Here we have a gap where blah 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 they buy food. We have a verb buy here meaning that your option will be only does and do because it is they, the subject is they, so you have to choose do, right so where do they buy food? where do they buy food? right, so uh, what is the verb? leave, good so there is verb here, so you're going to use either does or do because the subject is train so you have to choose that's right here yeah. excellent now another one when blah 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 your test okay we don't have any verb here meaning that you need be either is or are your task your task is it right so you will need is or are is good excellent okay now the last one what blah 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 their names there is no verb here meaning that you have to choose is or are right their names plural so you're going to use are correct okay well i think that's all uh, about the simple presence and the exercises also i hope it's it will be useful for you 
don't forget to subscribe bye